Fortunately, you're right, Casey. I mean, we've got more rain in the forecast, especially after midnight tonight. That's going to be the main time frame, but we could still see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms before then. We're starting to see some storms trying to get their act together along I-45 and Interstate 35. We don't have a ton here in East Texas, with the exception of a few showers over Houston and Anderson County, but a couple of showers and thunderstorms that have caught my eye, one of them right over Mejia, and this continues to move towards free Stone County. This isn't a tornadic thunderstorm or anything like that, but it is a severe thunderstorm warning with half dollar sized hail and perhaps 60 mile per hour winds. So we will track that as it continues to try and move very slowly to the east. We just don't really have a driving force in the upper levels to make that move very quickly, so it's not going to move anywhere very quickly. 80s and 90s. Lufkin's at 85 degrees. It's 83 in Nacogdoches. It's a warm day in center at 86. So here's Futurecast. We'll continue to track some development out to the west through about 10 o'clock tonight. And then as we get closer to 2 and 3 in the morning, that's when we could start to see a few showers and thunderstorms along the Trinity River moving eastward. And then as we progress to about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, we do start to see the initial batch of showers and thunderstorms moving east. And then after, I would say, 8 or 9, we could start to see more breaks in the action. Of course, it is possible that we see a few scattered showers in the afternoon, but tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, not looking too bad. Areas of showers and thunderstorms moving in from the north Friday. This is about 9 o'clock in the morning. You can see a little bit of a Boeing segment there, so we'll have to track this complex of storms as it dives southward. I think the main threat is going to be flash flooding here over the next few days, and for good reason. We're going to see quite a bit of rain. Futurecast rain amounts have some locations over six inches, which that is certainly not out of the question for some local spots that might see the training of showers and thunderstorms like we've talked about over the previous few days. But on average, I think about two to four inches of rain. That's what we are going to see over the next 48 or so hours. As we look at the excessive rainfall outlook, it's a slight risk of flash flooding in the yellow. It is a moderate risk in in the red, so the same places, Trinity County will unfortunately see perhaps the heaviest rain from these next couple of rounds of showers and storms, and we have more opportunities after that as well. We're not done on Friday. Saturday and Sunday could carry more rain chances, followed by isolated storm chances Monday. One thing to note, for deep east Texas, we do have that rain possible tomorrow, but it will also be pretty warm and humid with highs back into the 90s Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll have more KETK news live at 5 after the break.